St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the pastor of Our Lady of Sorrows Church here in Toronto, Father Nino Cavoto. A good day to those of you joining us across the land. The televising of our Mass today is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Sherwood Park, Alberta. This Mass is offered for their son's health and a very special intention for the living and deceased members of their family and for those who have no one to pray for them. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves by asking our Father for mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, may we love you in all things and above all things, and reach the joy you have prepared for us beyond all our imagining. And we ask this of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. <coughs> Jeroboam was very able, and when Solomon saw that the young man was industrious, he gave him charge over all the forced labor of the house of Joseph. About that time, when Jeroboam was leaving Jerusalem, the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite found him on the road. Ahijah had clothed himself in a new garment. The two of them were alone in the open country when Ahijah laid hold of the new garment he was wearing and tore it into 12 pieces. He then said to Jeroboam, take for yourself 10 pieces, for thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. See, I am about to tear the kingdom from the hand of Solomon and will give you 10 tribes. One tribe will remain his for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city that I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God.
The Lord be with you. And also A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a man who was deaf and who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took him aside in private away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, Jesus sighed and said to the man, Ephata, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 